Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review where I'm trying my very hardest to prevent any of us ever again returning from a magic convention with a carrier bag full of £500 worth of dog sh**. This week we've got Daniel Chard's expert at the Chard table. So before we get on with the review, can you please like and subscribe? If you do indeed like this, feel free to share it, that would be lovely. And do go and check out cardmagiccourse.com where I take you through in-depth video tutorials of all the card moves you will ever need from how to hold the deck right up to second deals, bottom deals, spread curls, double lift, everything you need to do, pretty much every trick in magic. So like and subscribe, check out Card Magic Course after the video, that'll be lovely. From Flat Cat Productions and Magic On Demand, this is Daniel's third DVD. His first was Chard Shark back in 2012, then Chardistry, uh, he's had a few downloads, he's just released a book called Life is an Illusion, uh, and other than that, he's a professional close-up magician. So of course he does the usual events, but importantly, he was a resident magician for a while at Illusions Magic Bar in Bristol, and now Slights in Bath, just up the road. And that's important because he's had the stage time, he's put the work in, and that's really reflected in not only his beautiful card work, but the material he chooses. So speaking of the material, I'm not gonna go through every trick on the DVD, there are, five, nine, there are nine card effects, um, all of which I'd say are intermediate upwards. You're expected to know a bit, there's palms, there's spread curls, double lift, all that kind of stuff, and he doesn't go into detail with all these moves, it'll give you a quick overview, but if you want detail, there are so many good resources. One of them, uh, funnily enough, being a thing called carbmagiccourse.com. You should check it out. In-depth tutorials, etc., etc. Um, so, nine effects. Standouts for me were, no, I love the first couple, Three, Two, One, Dumbry, which was a strip back kind of 52 cards to pocket effect with a kicker, only using five cards though. Uh, business cards collectors is great because you, you've got, a really free selection, three people or two people or four or one, however much you want, uh, can, however many you want, can choose a card. They get a business card each to plunge into the deck at any point, and that's how they find their chosen card because the cho previously chosen card will be below the business card. Now, the lovely thing about this is, A, it's a really direct effect. It's simple in plot, not easy because you need a cull, uh, but not over difficult. And importantly, they get to keep the business cards in a kind of subtle way because I don't, don't know about you, but I don't like this kind of, you, know, you do a great trick and then straight away you see some magicians handing out their business cards to one person at a time. I, to me, I, that feels a bit kind of sleazy. It feels a bit like, that's why I've done the trick, by the way. It's not because I wanted to amaze you or entertain you, it's because I wanted to give you my business card. And I think if you incorporate the business card and they're kind of left with them, it's quite a nice, subtle way to give them your details. Importantly, there's this multiple selection routine hidden away in the bonus section. So if you're like me and you sometimes, you know, go past the bonus section and watch the main bit, the bonus section in this is, is kind of like a whole DVD in itself. It's, it will be worth it just for that. And I don't say that lightly, mainly because of this multiple selection routine. Now, if you've got a good multiple selection routine and you approach a table, sometimes that's pretty much all you need, especially if it builds up in a crescendo like this. And Daniel knows his stuff. He's obviously done this inside out. So the good stuff is, like I say, the material is direct in plot. There's none of this over-contrived nonsense. It's mixed ability from intermediate and above, which means there's some stuff I kind of could take out straight away and do, and there are a couple of things I had to play with. So there's this decom streamlined decompression uh, which he, which he, I think is based on a trick from Charge, Char Chark it is, uh, and it's a streamlined version of that, which, which again, great, a little bit kind of movie, a little bit knacky, but I love it, it's got this kind of kinetic feel to it, and a little bit like there was a, there was a trick called Oxnard Split off the Bill Goodwin Reflection DVD, and I, I really love the, the visual aspect of it, so it's got that more kind of flourishy stuff on it, but like I said, all stuff that you could take out doing get, would get a good reaction. The other thing I like about this is this is really stripped back and there's no bullshit, okay? It's Daniel sitting on a sofa in his comfy clothes talking us through the routines he does in his professional repertoire. And I got a bit tired of DVDs trying to make magic look really, really cool, you know, in a kind of stereotypical way. There was a while where it seemed that on the cover of every DVD, even if it was a 75-year-old magician, they'd kind of dress him up as a 12-year-old or make him look like Neo from The Matrix, which in itself is now a bit dated. And, and we don't need it, you know? You can just be yourself and talk us through the stuff, and actually that makes it a lot easier to watch. And it is really easy to watch. Daniel is someone that is very laid back, very comfortable in front of a camera, which really helps. 
and enjoys taking you through his stuff. He doesn't oversell, he doesn't push it down your throat. And because of that, actually, sometimes it can be easy to forget how good this stuff is because it's done in such a lovely, nonchalant, relaxed way. And, and through all his DVDs, it's just something that is important. If you're gonna watch a Magic DVD that is just card stuff from beginning to end, you want it to be kind of relaxed and kind of chilled. So importantly, Daniel's very good at crediting as well. All the moves are credited and the ideas he's been given from other people have been credited. And I find that really important, A, because it's just manners, and also because then you can go and explore the work of these people yourselves and you kind of go down that little research rabbit hole, which I, which I find really exciting. Uh, so kudos for that. Now, there are some challenges. Um, so for me, the things that I like, you might not like. Like I said, it is a very stripped back production. It's a basic production. It's it's. He's sitting, taking you through his stuff, like I said. There is this green screen effect, which, I, to be honest, I probably could have done without. I don't really think green screen ever really adds to anything. Um, and it didn't distract that much, but I, I like it to be a little bit more naturalistic. Uh, but it knows what it is. It's not trying to be a kind of Dan and Dave Buck ultra-produced DVD. It's, it's someone giving you some really good material. And there's no live performance. Now, I don't mind this again. And it sounds like I don't mind anything, does it? But, but I might do if, if I didn't know who Daniel was and what he did. And I, I've seen footage of him performing these tricks live. You know, there, there is footage around of doing this. So I kind of trust it's performable because of, because of what he does. Now, some people that, that will do a card trick on a DVD say it's a real worker. And I look at it and go, really? Really, I wouldn't mind a bit of evidence. You know, that would be nice, but I don't really feel like I, I need that there. But it, worth knowing uh, if you're going to buy the DVD. So there it is. Nothing really, again, for me to, to harshly criticise on this. I really liked it. I've watched it a couple of times and I'm still taking the stuff out and doing it. And, and if, you know, if you watch a DVD, especially the multiple selection stuff, if you do that, it's, it's you know, the, the money it costs really, really is worth it. So there it is. Expert at the Chard Table is available from Daniel himself. It's available from other place, but you might as well buy it from him. Uh, if you give him an email, info at danielchardmagic.com, info at danielchardmagic.com, it's £20 plus postage, which I reckon is a bargain for what you get. So thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. Like I said, it makes all the difference. And please comment. It's it's just lovely when you get comments because, and I, I try to reply to everyone, uh, and it just means it just makes me feel like I'm talking to a human being, which is uh, which is a lot nicer than being in a room on my own, talking to a camera. Again. So have a great day, evening, whatever you're doing. Thank you very much. My name's Steve Faulkner, and this is Real Magic Review.